hope you can see me. I'm having to do weird things with my phone to try to take this video. I thought since I couldn't be with you on your birthday, I'd try to make a video of where I am so you could pretend you were here in Indiana with me. So again, I have no idea whether you're going to be able to see me here, but I'm here for real. So let me show you a little bit about where I am. Now I know what's being recorded, and this is the courthouse in Princeton, Indiana. I think it's a beautiful building, so I thought I'd show you that. And then I'm just going to walk you down the street here a little ways, because this is the, this is the main drag in this little town of Princeton, Indiana. And it's, uh, it's a pretty little place. It's really... I don't know, it might be even a little bit smaller. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's smaller than downtown Barrie. Um, but it's it's nice, it's a farm community. I think I told you it's flat. And lately it has been hot, hot, hot. And here's the funny thing. This is the uh, post office here in Princeton. And believe it or not, our RV is parked right behind the post office. And it occurred to me, I don't even think you've ever even seen our RV. And so I thought I'd at least take you on a little walk down through here. And again, I have no idea if you can see me or not, but I'm trying. And <laughs> we'll see how this looks when I get done. This is an interesting experiment with my phone. So anyway, you can see in the distance uh, there's my Camry, and you can see uh, the gal's car here that's uh, right behind ours. And then in the distance you can see the RV sitting back there. So I'm going to try to give you a little tour of the RV, just so you have a clue where I am and what it looks like. And again... <laughs> I know this is a, a rough video. Uh, I've never tried doing this before, so uh, it's something new. But I thought it couldn't hurt to give it a try. So anyway, there's the front of the RV. And you can see it's a Sunseeker by Forest River. And it's got a, it's on a Ford chassis. So it's not much different than a Ford truck in terms of how it functions. And let's see if I can pull it back a bit and just kind of give you the broad view of the side here. You can see we've got an awning on the side and it's a pretty good length. I'm trying to back up and see if I can get a longer shot of it. It is a 32 foot long RV. And there you go from one end to the other. And we're parked under a beautiful tree here in Princeton. Uh, this does a lot to shade us. In the morning we get the hot, hot sun, but this is a beautiful tree and it does a lot to help us out uh, during the rest of the day. Actually feels like it might rain sometime soon here. So let's go inside and see what my darling husband's up to. Oh my goodness, he's in here sweeping. It's a good thing. So you can see we come right in here into our little kitchen area. And we got our microwave and our stove and my new wave. This is like the third or fourth new wave we're on now. And our little kitchen sink area. And you can see this is one of the sofas and we've got the cupboards up above and over here. This is our main work area. This is where you find us most of the time, parked here at the kitchen table, so to speak, slash office, as we sit here with our computers in front of this lovely window. We do have a nice little TV in here, and there's a bunk up there behind it. Our bunks are all loaded with lots of stuff. <laughs> so the curtains are up on the bunk, but there is a very large bunk bed up there. We've had a couple of uh, adults sleep up there before. And you can see we got the blanket hanging down here just trying to keep some of the heat uh, from coming in from the front of the RV. So we've hidden the chairs and such up front where, uh, where Don drives. 
And we have a nice little refrigerator. It works out quite well. Uh, mostly on propane. Uh, that's uh, how we've been operating it and that's great because even when you're going down the road everything stays cold. And then we have a little hallway. You can see our fan here that helps along with our air conditioner. And these are two more bunk beds right here. You can kind of sort of see. Two more bunk beds. And uh, again, I got the curtains pulled because there's a lot of stuff in there. Uh, but we have emptied out those bunks before and we have had people sleeping on the bottom, not on the top, but on the bottom. And back here is our bedroom. It's a full queen size bed and it's quite nice uh, with all the cupboards. Of course, Don always laughs because all of these cupboards are pretty much full with my clothes, but he's got a few in there. We got a nice back window and a nice side window. You can see we're parked beside a brick, uh, brick house back here. So, and then the only other thing is our little teeny tiny bathroom. So you can get a sense, we got that. I mean, it is a full bathroom, you know. We got the, uh, the uh, toilet, and it has a little pedal on the floor to be able to flush, and we have a shower. So the shower works just great. So that's our tiny home on wheels, and uh, that's about all there is to show you of it. And again, I have no idea if I'm in the camera view at all here, but I'm trying. And yes, the wind has been blowing, so you'll fuss about my hair and all that good stuff. But at any rate, I wanted to say hello, and I just wanted to kind of let you see a little bit of where we are and what's going on with us. And, you know, we're happy with what we got here. Oh yeah, we also got some very cool radios and stuff built in here too. So we got the radio and the DVD player and the CD player and it's all hooked into the TV. And actually there's a second set just like it back here. There's a little mini one. So when people are in the little bunk beds back here, they got their own TV and their own little stereo as well. So it's quite compact and it suits us just perfectly. And um, 